for me, uh, ladies, I want to bring Kevin in at this stage. Uh, would you think about controlling your household gadgets? Now, this is getting a bit technical, but think about this, right? Uh, it's about electricity. Your washing machine, your lights, the fridge freezer. What about controlling them from the phone or the laptop if you would get money back for doing that? Basically, get a cheaper electric bill. It's just one of the suggestions the government is considering as part of a shake-up of the entire energy market. They're talking about giving us easier access than ever to solar panels and all the rest. You could sell some of your extra solar energy back to the grid and make a few pounds. Well, uh, the Professor of Cybersecurity at Ulster University is, of course, uh, Kevin Curran, old friend. Kevin, there's definite meat in this one. I thought it was one of those waffly ones, and then I started reading into the detail this morning. They're talking about consumers, you and I, being saved £17 billion to, or £40 billion by the year 2050. Is it pie in the sky? Uh, no, I mean, they, they seem to be really putting a lot into this government, um, yeah, as in incentives and schemes and funding opportunities. But again, because now we're in an age where you, we can control devices remotely, we can have them plugged in, we can also monitor. And I guess that the energy um, providers themselves are able to to be able to determine um, what's plugged in and when it's being used and be able to just simply allow us to run our heavy usage appliances at times of peak, so that, the, you know, the, the energy providers can control the grid uh, more effectively and Ke- offer us incentives to do it, because at the moment you really don't have an incentive to do it um, because you're generally in a capacity, unless you're one of the economy 7, 10 plans, really. I would love to have a solar panel, but I, I just I was always told they were too expensive. My house is only a wee tiny one. Kevin, you're the most gadgeted man in Ireland, probably. How, how, how much of the stuff are you doing already? Um, I, I do. I have devices which allow me to control my lights, for instance. You know, I can... I can say um, bedroom, you know, for instance, I could use my home uh, speaker, which I speak to the Google Home, for instance, I could say on um, bedtime now, and it'll just turn on the bed, the light in the bedroom, and it'll turn off all the other lights which are connected. What did you say? You, um, you, tell, you tell it it's bedtime? Yeah, I can just speak to the speaker at bedtime, and that keyword, I could say any keyword, but it, it'll know the keyword, what it means. It'll know to switch on the light to a certain degree in the bedroom. And then switch off the other lights. What happens if it switches um, off a TV and you go, no, I didn't tell you that switch a TV off. I mean, it, what happens if it does the wrong thing? Does it do the wrong thing? Or? Oh, no, there's, no, it doesn't. But that's exactly it. I've got a Chromecast. This device I've plugged into monitors nearby as well. So if I'm listening to something on, and I just say, oh, play Michael Jackson's thriller on, you know, on YouTube. It'll turn on my TV, the screen which is connected to it, and it'll bring up... It'll do that. Yeah, Alexa, Alexa does that. I've seen Alexa the other day. She's it this does, little gadget. Yeah. But, Ke- but, Kevin, by way of saving electric, they're talking about this is that this will be to the expense of the electricity companies. I mean, would you be tempted to go phototrophic or solar panels on your roof, that kind of thing? Yeah, I, I would. Yeah, I mean, yeah, when, when the prices drop, and, again, unfortunately, we're not in the greatest area in the world, really. I mean, uh, they are the future, but generally in, in the hotter climates as well. But they are getting better. They're getting more effective of even picking up the little sun that we do get here. And again, we have these battery inverters which are able to store the, you know, to store the power which is generated and keep it for longer. So it's just improving all the time. Yeah. So I, I've no doubt that we, we will, we, you know, all our roof tiles in the future will simply be like the ones that um, they're doing that the Elon Musk guy in America has been producing, which you can't even tell by looking at them. But they actually so are the roof tiles panels. themselves will be solar panels in in, in yeah. time. Kevin, does it I mean a lot of people listen to this going, oh, "Your man's a professor." Of course, his house is going to be like you know, Professor Caractacus or your man <laughs> out of the on film. But is it is it pricey, Kevin? How much of this is accessible? My attitude is it should be wind turbines. It should be twenty, thirty pound. All of us should have been scorched you those t- past couple of days and showering and lovely solar power for the price of tuppence. Is it the price of tuppence? No, no, no. Still, it's, 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 it's still, it's still, you've got to do your maths in these things. They're a long-term investment. You could spend a lot of money today in, 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 in putting solar panels in your house and using other types of batteries and inverters and everything else. And then a year later, you've moved and you've lost. Now, you could try to add on the cost to your house, of course, and try to reclaim it, but... Generally, it works when you're in one place. Um, again, it doesn't work for people renting. And again, a lot of the devices, like the light bulbs, are, like one of my light bulbs is forty-five pounds. You know, who's going to buy that really, unless you're really a bulb? So, yeah. It's the one that allows me to dim it into the Well, Kevin, are you... See, they're saying now if, if more of us go solar and use more apps to, say, for example, speak to the freezer, switch it off for two hours, because if you switch your freezer off for two hours, your stuff doesn't thaw. It takes a day or so. You know, or, or use the washing machine in the afternoon because your phone tells it to. Are you doing this to save money or to be flash? <laughs> I, I, 
I, yeah, you're, no, I'm doing it just for yeah, because it's a luxury. I'm doing it for yeah. entertainment, so like I don't have to reach over to my TV and I can be peeling the spuds and decide to watch them. All right, it's completely convenient for me. It's a luxury. Kevin, um, listen. You're right, because if I was really concerned about my freeze, I would have had them plugged in before. And there's, not, there's lower tech solutions you can do to turn it off, so just exactly like you say, but generally, no, well, it's just always for entertainment or for something like I can just do. Well, there's, a, there's half of that I didn't understand, but there's a few oohs and ahs of uh, sort of nods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you any of you ladies gadgeted, uh, Mildred? Was that you with a bit of gadgetry over there? No, I'm not gadgetry at all, uh, Mark. I think I would need a gadget to remind me to switch the gadget off. It's going to save the money in the fridge. <laughs> Unfortunately not, I'm not that well. I was just saying the ladies outside, I got Snapchat put on my phone, mm-hmm. but I would need somebody to give me lessons of how to work it. <laughs> well, how would you? Kevin, how, where, where would somebody like Mildred start here? Um, I, I, I would say, but <laughs> there are plugs you can get which you can connect to an app you don't have to have the speaker in the out and allow you to, to turn on lights or turn up. You know, but, but hold on a second, Mildred, have you any apps? I think of one or two, you yes. Have, so you have a phone with apps on it? Yes. And they work for you? Yes. What apps have you? Oh, Mark, I don't know what they are. <laughs> She's been honest with you. Snapchat. <laughs> Kerry, what have you, have you? Are you apps? Well, I do have a smartphone. Yes. Not everybody has a smartphone. And have you any of this stuff? No. no. I was in a house last week... Um, and the house has that Alexia system Amazing. that it closes the curtains, it turns on and off the kitchen lights, <laughs> play Ed Sheeran, and it comes on, you know. That's grand if you know what you're doing. But it sounds like, like we, have, money. we have women who come to our network to get to get um, help on the, how to send an email, how to set up an email. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because a lot of the doctor surgeries now are expecting yeah. you to book online. Well, we have a lot of women who haven't a clue. Um, Would you be tempted for a solar panel though? Imagine he, imagine well, they came and said, right, Kitty, these are suddenly becoming affordable. Stick them on the roof and the, uh, the stuff you don't use will give you... Well, I'm led to believe, and I don't know if it's true or not, mm. that if you get solar panels for your roof, the solar company owns a roof of your house. They, they rent so, it. So if you're yes. selling your house, you, you, there, there's an issue around selling yeah. your house yeah. if you have solar panels that you haven't bought outright. That's right, yeah. I so, that you know... I think big organisations can rent their roof as well. What, what about you, Rosie? Any any gaps? I just, any no. stuff controlling your life? No? No. But would you be tempted? Does this stuff turn you off? No. I, you know what, Mark? I, I think it's a height of laziness when you can't walk out of your house and turn off your own lights. Why do you need a gadget to do that? Any solar power around your way? No. Not, you? not that I know. And, and down in Gaelia, no, there is a lot of houses there that the housing executive have um, installed the solar the, on the roof. I don't know how effective it is. Or yeah, but you see, ladies, I mean, time and time again, from if you want to call them our heartland communities, it's the price of electric that matters. That's mm-hmm. right. Mm-hmm. That's what right. happens if suddenly you've got a gadget that's making it for you and your your electricity bill is cut in half? Are you listening at is, that stage? Is your phone bill going up? Hey? Is your phone bill going up? I wouldn't have thought so. Well, you know, if you have to use a phone to, to control it. it, then will your phone bill be higher than your electric bill Kevin. by the time you're finished? <laughs> Kevin. Will your phone bill be le- um, like in the future? Yeah, it's possible. Um, yeah, well, no, no, I'm just saying, Kevin. No, 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 some of them, my guests don't sound particularly first in the queue tonight for the solar panels. <laughs> Sell it to them. Uh, <laughs> I mean, the, yeah, the fact that I suppose once you put the initial investment in, really, you do have control. That uh, um, once the price drops, the fact is, you you were just you're self reliant. Really, it's it's your electricity. You know what you're getting. It's free. I mean, the sun is free. Um, it's just that we don't get too much of it here, but they are becoming better all the time. The technology behind these, the photovoltaic cells really are incredibly good at picking up um, what little sun that we do get here. And the prices are dropping. So again, it's possible that we'll all have just, just our routines and generating the sun. Do, do you think by 2050, Kevin, we will not have electricity bills? That if this works, because it, it, it changes so quickly, they're talking about the solar stuff is coming way down in price, that battery storage, that you could be, you know, essentially standalone independent if you have a wee gadget on the roof to heat your house and, and, and feed your family. It's funny, it's hard to know, because uh, what I find is generally that we, we our gadgets increase. We, we, t- we tend to have more, if you think about you just draw a chart and we'd be going up all the gadgets that we have in the houses and now we're moving towards electric cars as well. So Indeed. we will consider we will have considerable amounts of, of gadgets in the future that we're drawing power for and I don't see that decreasing anytime soon. There you are. I have the bus pass, that but that's a lot more people <laughs> Any of you three got the bus pass, no? Oh, yes. Anybody admit can you get a bus pass? No, I haven't yeah, they dare you. <laughs> you do. You do know. Yes, I do. Mother, you the bus pass? Yes. <laughs> I have a smart pass. 
A smart pass. Yes, on I your can go anywhere in Ireland with my pass. But you here, know, no right now, Rosie. You can go to Rathlin free. I know. And and I didn't know that you could get the ferry to Rathlin oh, free. Yeah. Have you have a smart pass? I can go on the train wherever I want. Go to Ballabaf Fair the night to see Derry City. Forget to say if you want. Uh, well, I don't know, but I'm not a Scott <laughs> Ballmark. Now, if you had a mentioned music or something, but, but here, different. does that app thing, Rosie, grab you in terms of the benefits? Oh. Say, for example, all right, it maybe looks fancified to you, but if I was to say to you that your household bills in a year's time will be halved because you did your smartphone mm. apps and your yeah, uh, solar and all the rest. Totally. If um, somebody could set it up for me and show me how to use it, I well, would really... Kevin down to do uh, that. Kevin. <laughs> Kevin could have got himself a new job. <laughs> could have been fitting panels for, for uh, you guys. That's true. Just, it's good to see you again. Thank you for okay, joining Mark. us, uh, ladies. Our panel is uh, back, Rosie, Kitty and Mildred. And you'll be hearing from them increasingly in the coming weeks and months here on uh, FOIL. 712-66-522. The time is 22 minutes past two.